Hey YouTube, Mr. Ostacado 169 here, what's up? Here's the ban list for the October 1st, 2014 format for, until the end of December December this year. Um, I'm going to tell you what's, um, what's, what's, what's new. Um, there will be some profanity in this video. Profanity. Because I might be saying a lot of swear words because I think some of the stuff on this list is bullshit. But I'm going to show you anyway. Alright. Nothing is forbidden. I'm surprised for the second straight time. I'm surprised as heck. So, here's what's, um, this is what's limited. Glow up bulb. What the fuck? Okay, this is bullshit. Glow up bulbs should not be back at one. It should stay banned. Because, this card's going to be more powerful now. Especially with Formula Synchro on that fucking free, this card is going to be fucking broken as hell. It's stupid. That's a bullshit. I'm not agreeing with this because, you know, even though this card's still good, there is an upside to this. Dandelion and Debris Dragon are still at one. Return from the Different Dimensions banned. Monster Reborn's banned. So... I don't get this at all. This makes no fucking sense. Why would you bring back Glow Up Bulb? Why would you bring that back? It makes no fucking sense at all. It's bullshit. What the fuck? That card was bad for a fucking reason, obviously. I, I don't think this is good. They honestly, they should have kept this banned and brought back Demok. Demok's not that broken as Glow Up Bulb is, honestly. This is just basically like bringing back, you know, let me think of an example. This is basically bringing back, um, never mind. I, I, I can't really say anything around. This is basically like bringing back Rescue Cat, basically. It's stupid. It should not, it should not have been unbanned. It should have stayed banned. Okay, this is like one of the two things I agree with on this list. Inferity Archfiend. Now, Infernities are going to be slow as hell, so Infernities are not going to be so good anymore. Because first, Barry, Infernity Barry goes to one, one. Now, this is again going. Now, Infernity Archfiend's been limited to one. I still think this is a bunch of bull. I think it's pretty good. So, I'm happy about that. For what? For finally, I knew this card was going to get limited or banned one way or the other. I'm glad it got limited at least. It's. It's awesome. I'm pretty happy about that. Because the card was broken because every time you had no card in your hand, you drew it in your draw phase when you had no other card in your hand, you can instantly special summon it, then activate its effect, and add an Infernity card from your deck to your hand. This card used to be broken as hell when Infernity Barrier, Barrier was at free. But now Infernity Barrier at 1 now, and this is at 1. Infernity decks are going to be pretty slow now, so not many people will be running them. I think you would have to run Triple Necromancer and Triple Mirage now, and that's still going to be a little difficult. So, so it's whatever. Alright, now, this is another card that really pissed me off. Regeki. What the fuck is this? Regeki should not have been fucking back at one. It should have been fucking banned. This card was banned for a motherfucking reason. It was banned for a fucking reason because this card is basically like a Chaos Emperor Dragon effect. It blows up all the cards on, your opponent, on the opponent's field. That's just that's brutal. That's brutal. It's bullshit. It's crazy. Why would they bring back that card anyway? Why would they? It's just so dumb in my opinion. It's dumb. And I'm fucking sick of it. I can't believe they brought back that card even though it was banned for so many years. This card's been banned since 2005 or 6, and now it's back. Holy shit. What is this game coming to now? What is this, what is this format coming to? Oh, shit. That's fucking crazy. Okay. Soul Charge. This I agree with. The card was broken because it was popular in several decks out there. Like Sylvans, Stellar Knights... Uh, dragons, light sworn, you know what I mean. This card, yeah, it it needed it needed to uh, it needed to um be hit limited to one. So I agree with it a hundred percent. Super polymerization. One reason why this got hit to one, I'll tell you why. Shadals. 
They were dominant in the, in the last two YCSs. I think YCS Toronto. This card is dangerous, especially in a Shadal mirror match. This card can be very dangerous. You discard a card from your hand and you fuse one monster on your field and one monster on your opponent's field that fit the material requirements for a fusion monster to summon it. And this card couldn't be negated. It's just crazy. It's just, it's just crazy. It's, I, I just, I can't believe it. It's just too, it's just too crazy. So I, I agree with Super Poly going to one. Same reason as Soul Charge. This card, these two cards were getting really dangerous now. These two here. This one was getting even more dangerous now because of the mirror matches. Because Shadals are going to be more popular, popular, especially after new challengers, new challengers come out in two months. Shadal, the Shadal deck is going to be more, more. More better after that. All right, now limited. Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. Okay, this is ridiculous. I don't know why would you bring back Gale. That you're just gonna make Blackwings look more better now, because Kalut's not free now. It's free and Whirlwind's now at free. Uh, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense, I guess. But I'm really not gonna say anything. It's just too powerful, and I'm really don't like. I don't think I don't agree with that shit at all. It's just ridiculous, in my opinion. It's stupid. It's stupid. And Gores, okay, Gores. I don't know why they would do this. This is like, like last time they put Mirror Force at free. And now you're putting Gores at two. This makes no sense at all. You can't summon two Gores at once. I don't think. Because if you could, that card would be too broken. But I'll double check on that, or you can let me know if it can or not. But I don't know why they did this at two. And I really don't agree with it anyhow, but whatever it is, what it is. Gores is not that bad anyway. Now people are just going to be running Vanity's Emptiness, Vanity's Fiend more, I guess. Ceasefire, that's whatever. It's really good against the dolls, so I guess this could be useful, I guess. I'm not really going to argue about it, so it's okay, I guess. It's whatever. It's also good in chain burn decks, I believe. Um, the transmigration prophecy. I think this is a kind of a bad mistake on Konami's part, in my opinion. It's not so good because the card is okay, but the card's just too powerful. It, it can be good for side de side deck purposes. Again, if you go up against Light Swords or Shadals or something like that, to put back an important ingredient they need in the grave back into their deck or something like that. It, so it could prove to be useful, but it could be use, it could actually be dangerous in other ways. Like you bring back cards you need to use again that you're not able to bring back by any by other by other methods. So it's I just don't get this. Okay, uh, Coach Soldier Wolf Bark. Okay, this does make this doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. This got limited for a reason because the effect is so broken. Like, as long as it stays out on the field once per turn, you can bring back one Beast Warrior type monster from your graveyard in defense mode. But the effects of that monster summoned through Coach Soldier Wolf Arcs negated. That just brings an endless, an endless loop for Fire Fist. That's a bad mistake. It is bullshit. It's so fucking crazy. It's unbelievable. I, I don't get that. That's so, that's so bullshit. It is. It's bullshit fucking crazy because that's going to make fire fist more fucking broken now people are going to start running that more often now magician of faith i really don't see any point in this in magician of faith going to free but it could be good again in an exodia decks and like decks that involve like mystic piper stuff like that the card could be useful but other than that or and this card could be actually be useful in burn decks, like bring back chain strike, bring it back wave motion cannon. But other than that, I don't see any other use for it. Formula synchron, hold on. Formula synchron. Okay, this is just uh that's just fucking crazy. Cause this makes no sense at all. Now with glow up bulb at one, back at one, and this at free. Plant decks are going to fucking be awesome again. That is fucking ridiculous. It, uh, it's stupid. I really don't care for this. I really don't give a shit. It's so fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid. Why? They should have done better moves, but this, whatever. I'm, I really don't care. And finally, reinforcement in the army. That is completely fine with me. It's not much of an issue. 
it'll just it makes some certain decks more powerful. Now people could probably run Samurais again. I don't know if Teledad's going to come back from this because you can't get malicious with this. You could get Armageddon Knight to dump a malicious or a Graffer, so it could be useful in some ways. Elemental Heroes might make a comeback soon, who knows, but I really don't have any objection to this at all, but it's whatever. The top three things I disagree with are Cold Soldier Wolf Bark going to three and Regeki and Glow Bulb going to one. Those are the three major things I don't fucking like. It's so fucking ridiculous. It's, I don't know what to say. So, yeah, so that's the ban list for October 1st until the end, until basic, until January 1st, basically. So, if tell me what you think of it and what your, what your thoughts and opinions and leave them down on the, and leave them on the comments down below. Um... So I'll have more videos up soon. Uh, hope 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 you enjoy this. Later, guys. Glow bulbs back. What a bunch of fucking bullshit.